This could either be really good or really, really bad. <laughs> let's not ask, let's just see. The death of reprobat. That's not how you say that. You can read it, motherfucker. You see what it says. Morning, nerds. Who's ready to be sentenced to a cruel and painful death? Me, please. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here then? This one hasn't paid his taxes for six weeks. What have you got to say for yourself, tax cheat? I ain't got no money and I ain't got no job, so enough. Off with his head, 12 years in the dungeon, banish him, give him a week in the in the stocks. Um so I'm playing as the king. So I'm playing as the king. What is a week in the stocks? What does that mean? We're not gonna kill a guy for not paying his taxes, right? But no, we're not gonna kill his ass. Instead, we'll put him this one. I don't know what that is, but let's do it. What is that? A splendid verdict, your grace. Name your crime. He did a poop in the street. <laughs> That's not a crime, but I stepped in it and it was stinky. Yeah. Hmm. Eviscerate him. Have the town crier imply he's a pedophile. <laughs> What? What? Flay him and leave him for the ravens. Have him drawn and quartered. Damn. Bro, he's, I'm not gonna kill his ass. But all he did was step in the poo poo. Well, at least let him live, bro. <laughs> That's insane. But sire, you made speaking that word illegal in order to obfuscate the crimes of your underlings. Thanks again for that, by the way. Oh, yes, so I did. Then smash his face with a haunted cauldron or something. I don't know. You got it. Oh. Great judgment, my lord. He will think twice before pooping in an unsanctioned location again. Don't tell me. Sheep bothering. Sheep bothering. Coddle his giblets. Swoot him in herring piss. Flatten his siblings with a mallet, inject tallow into his pituitary gland. <laughs> Definitely that one. Can do. What the hell is the pituitary gland? What is that? That pervert had it coming. A fair and balanced ruling. Shut up, Lenny. What has this scrap been up to? This one isn't a prisoner. He's a messenger from the low countries with an urgent message from your father. If he isn't a prisoner, why did you bring him in the bad boy's barrow? <laughs> the bad boy's barrow? What are we playing right now, gamers? He has traveled a long way. He seems a little weary. Fair enough. Uh, in case his flaccid genitalia in a mala, malish, I don't know what that is. Then show him a picture of a tit. <laughs> Wait, I had to think about that for a second. Okay, so, so whatever that thing is, it must be something that stops you from 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 expanding your pipetito. Remove the skin of his torso, then bathe him in gooseberry juice. Drill a hole the size of a walnut in the back of his skull, then whisper sad poems into the void. Remind him of the joys of his youth. I'm doing the stop one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to hear his message first? Yes, I suppose that would be wise. What news do you bring from my father, male boy? Immortal John is dying. He requests your presence at his side, my lord. Papa is dying. My lo what lovely news. Uh, 
Did you hear that Letty? Papa is dying. Lovely news. And request my presence at his side. To finally bequeath me with the estate and title, no doubt. Let us depart without further delay. Isn't that the first guy I sent this? Wait. What they doing to that cow? That cow horny look like. Greetings, Papa. Sorry to hear about the whole impending death thing. Was there something you wanted to bequeath? I mean, say to me? Look, this intro is already way too long for the demo. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, he's talking about the demo we're playing right now. That's insane. Look, this intro is already way too long for a demo, so I'll cut to the chase. It's good deeds this time. You gotta do seven good deeds by sundown, but no buts. Seven good deeds by sundown and change out those ridiculous clothes before someone throttles you for one of your gaudy babbles. Yes, Papa. Huh? That's better. Now piss off, I'm sleepy. How should I? The Lord will guide you. Yes, Papa. Okay. Seven good deeds by sundown. That can't be too difficult. Wait, so I think this old man is a hot spot. Or the Fisher Boys. So I can either pinch the Fisher Boys, talk to the Fisher Boys, or look at them. Let's look. Let's start by looking at the Fisher Boys. What are they doing? A couple of dapper little Fisher Boys bonding over a shared love of fish murder. Let's conversate. They're so engrossed in nature's majesty at the moment. I think I'll leave them to it. Wait, should I, should I pinch him then? What, what, what? Good lad. That was it. Okay, but th this guy's holding a sign that tells me where to go. Let me go talk to this fucker. <laughs> this game is insane. This game is insane. Hello? Please just pretend I'm not here. Let me pinch him. I can't reach him over there. And I'm not slapping him in the face. And I'm not sure slapping him in the face would be a good idea anyway. I think he's our God, Lord, the Almighty, holding a big red air over the fisherman's head. Hello. I am Hornanito. Hello, Hornanito. Hello. Catch anything good? Why is this strange man holding a big red air over your head? Is there something I can help you with? Let me do this one. Why is this man so... Okay. I have no idea what you are talking about. Just please pretend I'm not here. Oh, okay. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. Hornanito is in need of assistance. I told my children I caught all the fish in the basket. And they looked at me with pride in their eyes for the first time in their lives and asked me to show them how. But I have no idea how to catch a dang fish. I purchased all these from a suspicious crone in a dark alley with money I stole from a passed out drunk. Yikes! These kids already hate me. I don't need them knowing I'm a thief as well as a failure. Please help us catch a fish. Sure, I can do that. Let's talk about fishing. Sure. Uh, what are you using as bait? A small purpose whittled spoon vagina effigy. Huh? I don't think fish eat wood. No, but surely they love vaginas. Let's see if I can find something more appropriate. Okay, so I gotta find something better for that. Have you asked those men to stop lobbing rocks in the water? Who is throwing rocks in the water? They are frightening the fish away. I don't want my children unaccompanied at the edge of the lake. Will you ask them for me? Sure. I think we need to do some more preparation before we start fishing. Happy hooking, Hornanito. Okay, so, okay, so perfect. So I gotta tell these guys to stop throwing rocks at the shit. Let me go commissate. Hello, hello, hello. Why are you shooting a bunch of rocks into the water? 
This is a small town, far from the gaze of the ruling elite of the big city. Many people come here for a quiet life. Others come here to escape their past. We came here to be free of the laws that govern the rest of the land. And we choose to exercise that freedom by shooting a bunch of rocks into the water. I don't think that there are any laws in the rest of the land that would prohibit you from shooting a bunch of rocks into the water. It's just a bit odd. Maybe not actual laws, but social laws that dictate what is and is not considered odd, as you say it. We came here to escape such judgment. All we ask is a, to be able to shoot a bunch of rocks into the water in peace. Okay, fair enough. What will you do when you run out of rocks? We will never run out of rocks. The Lord has supplied us with an infinite number of rocks. We have been shooting rocks in the water for the past 12 days straight now, and our supply has yet to dwindle even a jolt. How is that even possible? How is anything possible? It's God's will. Can you please stop shooting rocks into the river? Absolutely not. We left our lives in the city to come here, quit our jobs, sold our homes, abandoned our families, all for the freedom to shoot a bunch of rocks in the water. We have finally found our true calling and we will not stop until we die. Okie dokie, bye. Okay, so that didn't work out too well. Looks like the door to some sort of bar. Absolutely no reason to believe that there would be a nude men doing rude things in there. All right, we're going in. It's locked. Hello? Hello? Oh! What the heck, did you see that? I'm stunting! Wait, why is my old ass stunting like that? I don't know, I have no idea. Let me, I, I'm supposed to pinch this guy, apparently. Bravo! So I can clap for this guy, too. I can only sing. And then same thing. Oh, so this goose is my ticket. I fucked it. It just took off. That little bitch just took off. Oh, wait, I got... Uh, was I supposed to do... I feel like I was supposed to do that. I feel like I was supposed to do that. Wait. What the hell? Oh. I didn't realize there was another area. A naked man dangling precariously from a gabble winch. Uh-huh. Can I pinch him? What am I doing? I can't reach. Hang in there, buddy. Okay. I wonder how he got up there and why he has no clothes on and who his personal trainer is. So many questions. Okay, can I open this door or is it locked? It's locked, okay. So let's go in here. I don't know what this is. It looks like a store maybe of some kind. A bunch of monkeys scrutinizing some artwork. Oh, wait, they're actually dead ass monkeys. I thought that was a person. Wait. Wait, they actually let you scrutinize the artwork. That's insane. I don't give a fuck. Okay, and I can also pinch these monkeys. I don't want to touch these unwatched, flea bitten, subhuman beasts. Please don't talk about monkeys like that. I was talking about the artists. Okay, let me let me let me pinch this monkey or this uh parrot. <laughs> Perhaps the background needs to be less prominent. Perhaps the underlying theme needs to be smaller. Oh, these guys are talking about their shit. Okay. Let me go in the back room, I guess. The scene isn't done yet. Piss off. Uh, can I just the lady said piss off? I can't speak for myself. Thanks, Derek. So, so piss off. Wait, don't we need a bit of signposting about how you can tell the monkeys to alter the paintings? I think you just did. Oh my God. Oh, this is a video game. Um, What's this guy doing? What's this guy selling? I slapped him. <laughs> what? I'm gonna slap this guy in the ass. I don't want his fusty microbes seeping into my finger pores. I should probably ask first. Keep those lips to yourself, Mr. Sorry. I just spit on that old man. Hello, hello. 
Oh, you can talk to people even though they let you pinch. Even though it pops up with pinch, you can still talk to them. Who are you? I'm Dante. They piss in my pants. <laughs> the local fruit slash veg hawker. I buy fruits and veg from the fruit and veg farmers and then sell them to people who want fruit and veg. Why don't people who want fruit and veg purchase the fruit and veg directly from the farmers? Farming is a full-time job, so I sell the fruits. Okay, there, there's too much reading. I'm losing my fucking voice reading this shit. <laughs> oh, so all I gotta do is threaten this guy and he'll give me the food for free. So I just threatened this old man for a goose and he gave me a goose after I threatened him, but he wouldn't. Huh? Give me more fruit and veg or I will smash your elbows off. Sure, what would you like? I'll take some pears, please. Help yourself. I'll take some strawberries, please. Sure, help yourself. Um, okay, I, I've got enough fruit and veg for now, thanks. How have you got these geese to stay so still? Uh, maybe it's because they're sleeping. Are they sleeping or are they not sleeping? Goodbye. Okay, so I got some fruit and veg from this old timer. Huh? And I must need that for something. Who? I'd like to enter the forest, please. Go for it, lad. We ain't gonna stop you. You are the master of your own destiny. Actually, wait, this is just the demo. We should probably limit him from being able to play the entire game, right? Good point. Yeah, I think it's piss off for now, champ. Sorry. <laughs> okay, wait, let me go in here then. A collection? That guy's taking a tingle in the corner. Sleeping drunkard. Sleeping like a baby. A disgusting old drunk, old piss spatter baby. Shh, it's sleeping. Everything will be better in the morning. I was going to say, I don't want to wake him up. He looks like he needs it. Never touch a man while he's pissing, lest uh, you startle him and cause a spillage. Can you talk? Hey, bud, what you doing? Ow! Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I don't want a massive chalice with a tiny snake inside. So these guys are playing. I'm just I'm just singing with them. I'm clapping. I'm loving the show. There's an egg that I just broke. I'm a fucking idiot. Oops. Okay, so bo everybody, everybody in this fucking game got a lot of shit to say, but I keep clapping. The birds do not like that. I guess he feels pretty safe in that cage. I'm allergic to alcohol. So is there nothing in here? Wait, I'm, cla I'm clapping for the for the street performers. Let me conversate. I'm just singing. Okay, bet. Shoo! Oh, I shoot away the bird for that fella. Let me clap. Let me go in here. Oh, they grooving in this some bitch. Look at this old head. I'm just robbing their ass casually. Yuck, no. A cute little wiggly orange caterpillar. I took it. Oh, for their fucking fishing, some bitch. That's what that's for. It's for their fishing. Let me clap for this guy. Okay. What's this guy doing? I'm not going to bash the poor guy while his eyes are closed. Hello. Who are you? 
Bro, please, I'm trying to meditate here. What is this place? I'm pretty sure I was right on the cusp of a mystical revelation just then. Can you give me spiritual guidance? I can't talk and transcend my physical form at the same time, buddy. I'll give you peace. Okay, so you don't fuck with me, not a lick. Clap that bird, Gombo. <laughs> Bo, buddy's mad. What about, what about the ladies, Bo? Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's a lovely idea, but I generally prefer not to violently attack women and or children for good for without a good reason. Okay, so I think this room only served for me to get the um for me to get the caterpillar. Wait, let me go in here real quick. Feed me this little chunker hungry. Shut up, you little brat! <laughs> oh, everybody in here bitching. Twinkle twinkle little star, how Wonderful you are. Oh, that thing ugly as hell. Stars are just distant suns, jackass. Yeah, everybody knows what stars are, doofus. Hello. Oh, Lord, what now? Who are you? Uh, I don't know anymore. I used to be a master carpenter. People told me again and again to define myself not by my work. But there was no other way to define myself as anything more than a failure, so I choose to ignore them. Uh, I see. Actually, I just meant like, what's your name? Oh, right, of course. I'm so-and-so, so-and-so, a local carpenter. Are you okay? Honestly, no. I think I have postnatal depression. He calls it postnatal depression. I call it being a useless twat. Looks like both to me. Is there something I can help you with? Yes, please. These kids won't shut up. Can you make them stop for a flipping second? Um, I can talk you through it. Why don't you just do it yourself? Feeling alone in the forest, stumbling on a bear. Retreat, discover you are surrounded by bears. Bear circle you, snarling, sunlight glistening. Except that the bears are in the forest and it's your life. Frozen spot, terrified, moving case, life. Okay, okay, okay. I have literally no idea what you're talking about. I'm just tired. Okay, fair enough. I'll try my best to help. Okay, so these little fuckers are hungry. So how do I shut these damn kids up? You just have to put the babies to sleep and give the boy something to eat. Uh, how do I put the babies to sleep? Not a clue. They're overtired. They can't sleep because they need to sleep so badly. It's all just too much for me to deal with right now. They just need their swaddling blankets. But Num Nuts over here lost them while gambling in the tavern. I didn't lose them, actually. I bet them. I lost them in a bet. Either way, the ringleader of those degenerates at the tavern wears the swaddling blankets as a turban now. Bummer. Ah, okay, so what does this kid want? Uh, he rejects everything I give him. He doesn't have the vocabulary of patience. He's driving me mad. It's really not that difficult. I composed a rhyming manam set to help his preferences. Nothing green and nothing blue. Nothing that he has to chew. No product branded with a logo. And also nothing containing cocoa. Oh my God! Can't we just bash them? That's really not allowed. Okay, I got this. Let me let me let me give this kid some fucking. Wait, let me feed this little shit. Are right, you little chunker fuck? How do I feed him? Nothing green and nothing blue. Nothing he has to chew. Let me try the raspberries. Unless you can get somebody to chew it for him, he's not going to take it? He won't eat anything green. Okay, so I was right. Okay, so he so he really only does want... The f***ing whatchamacallit. Oh my god, so I got to figure out some way to crush it. This is f***ing insane. Can I play this flute for these little shits? Oh my god, I gotta play it, actually? This game's fucking insane. I don't think that tune was sufficiently magical. Oh my god. So I got a I, that kid ugly as fuck. Look at this kid in the bag, bro. Oh my god, little diabolical little bitch. 
Clap that bird away. Bitch. I just scratched the monkey. Good lad. What's up, lads? What do you want? Can I borrow your swaddling blankets, please? What swaddling blankets? The one on your head. This is a turban. Thank you very much. This was actually very insensitive and a bit racist. Sorry. Uh, who are you? Bill, Dan, Brad, Abe. We are the local degenerates. Of course you are. <laughs> what are you scramps up to? We are gambling. It's great fun. You should give it a go. It looks like some of you are having more fun than others. What are the rules of the game? It's super simple. You just have to guess what numbers the monkeys are going to roll on their dice. If you guess right, you win. And if I guess wrong, I win. Doesn't that mean you win the majority of the time? Yes, it's great. All right, well, let me play. Can I borrow your turban, please? Well, I do hate this thing. If it doesn't fit my head at all and it sinks a baby piss, but on the other hand, you're really insensitive and particularly a bit racist to me, so I'm torn. Pretty please, I'll pay for it. Uh, I will crush your skull like a nut husk and mail it, okay. Uh-huh. I'll tell you one. If you can guess the numbers, the monkey will roll next. I will give you my turban, deal. How am I supposed to guess the result of a random action? Some say there is a system. I'd like to make my guess now, please. Place your bets. The first dice will be a six. The second dice will be a two. Who the fuck? The first dice will be a six and then a two. This guy's saying two and a three. Actually, the first dice. Okay, so there's a bunch of fuckers fucking with me. And don't forget to add Alan's number to the first dice and Colin's first dice to Dallin's. What? Three. Six. Little monkey fuck! <laughs> Bitch rolls snake eyes. I'm stomping these little monkey fuckers out. I'm stomping these little monkey fuckers out. I'd like to make another guess. Oh my god, they change. Oh wow, so this actually is some diabolical cancer shit. Hi, chat GPT, I'm back. Listen, I'm trying to solve a puzzle and I need help with a dice game. There's numerous people giving me numerous numbers and I have to figure out which is going to be the dice roll of the end monkey dice. Do you understand? Okay, the first person says the first dice will be a three and that the second dice will be a four. The second person says the first dice will be a one and the second dice will be a four. A third person says the first dice will be the number the second guy said first and the second dice will be the number the first guy said second. Another person says, and don't forget to add Alan's number to the last, to the first dice, and Colin's number to the second dice. Assuming seven becomes one, etc. Oh, and all ones are threes and fives are twos, of course. Except in the final answer. <laughs> Look at this bottom option. It makes no sense! <laughs> Blankets. <laughs> I didn't even have to do it. I didn't even have to do it. I didn't realize there was another question for Cal uh, Colin and. Oh, I just spit on them. Oh, damn it, bitch. Okay, so I won't get the achievement, but that's okay. I just, I just stunted on the ass, bro. Oh, I see. Okay, so if I would if I would if I would have had Colin and Allen's numbers, I could have won it. But I didn't. That's why that's why I was fucking up. That's actually good to know. Let me go over here real quick. Okay, so let me swaddle this little shit. Shut 
your ass up. Them babies could not be uglier. Okay, smart guy, you win this round. Them babies ugly as hell, bro. This will keep them quiet for a while. Thank Christ. Don't thank Christ. I'm the one who swaddled those little bastards. Oh, yeah, thank you. Just one more to deal with. I gotta figure out some way to fucking pulverize this shit. What am I supposed to be doing with these motherfuckers? Wait. Don't we need a bit of signposting about how you can tell the monkeys to alter the painting? I think you just did. A signposting? What does that mean? Excuse me. Can you replace the background with... Oh, I can tell it. Replace the background with... A busy allegory featuring a sad Jesus. <laughs> that can't be fucking right. Wait, what did this bitch say she wanted? Let me listen. The scene isn't done yet. Piss off. Can I just... The lady said piss off. Wait. It seems they've undecided on the finer details of their work. Replace the subject's head with... A, the head of a parrot. How are you supposed to figure this shit out, bro? I don't think I can teach this guy to fish yet, can I? Okay, I gotta give this kid a... I gotta give this kid a fucking... Here. I got just a new bait, thank you. But these people... Wait a minute, look! Wait! Wait, look! It's my painting! Wait, it's my painting! Can you please stop th shooting hunks of pig carcasses into the water now? Oh, I gotta make sure they're not throwing... Oh! Wait, they're the... Th they're the painting! Huh? Wait, so I, I gotta give him something that he can't hog into the water. Subject's arms with... Um... A pile of rocks. A pile of softly s sleeping wood pigeons. Oysters. I'm gonna do... Let's try the wood pigeons. Yeah, because the pigeons wouldn't just go into the water, bro. Replace the background with a bizarre apocalyptic hellscape. A well-maintained hedgerow. Yeah, because because they moved out to the country to avoid that kind of shit. That's what they said. The head of a man. Because I think, I think it was a guy and his wife, right? So if he's a man now and he's got pigeons, maybe, 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 maybe the fuck off! <laughs> they don't hit the water now, bitch. Because now they're not going in the water, so they're not, they're not, they're not fucking up the fish. Okay, here we go. Catch anything good? Nothing yet. Let's talk about fishing. Sure. The water seems to be nice and calm. Good. Your bait looks good. Good. Let's catch some fish. Okay. Don't worry. I'll talk you through it. Cast your line. Wait. Oh my God. <laughs> Cast your line. Wait. Fuck, it's shaking. Reel it! Fuck, I missed it. I missed it. Wait, wait, I'm not gonna click it through. I'm waiting. I I that I that I fucked it. There ain't no fish on the line no more. I threw something serious. I threw something serious. Okay, cast. 
Hold, little man. Hold, little man. There it is. Reel it in. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes, bitch! Holy shit. Holy shit, we got the man his fish. Piss off, dad. One poxy fish doesn't make up for 10 years of bad fathering. <gasps> okay. That's enough of that, I think. Okay, bye, quit. Thank you, bye. Quit and... Oh. Oh, that was a full game. Oh, thank God! Ladies and gentlemen, that was the full and complete demo of the death of Ray Probate. We hope you enjoyed. If y'all did, you know what to do. Go down below. Leave us that love. Leave us that like. Leave us a subscription. And let us know what else we should play down below. Make sure you come out to the live stream and suffer through some of these horrendous as difficult as cringe ass games over on djendom.com. Okay, and also make sure that you give me a fucking kiss on the forehead, goddammit. Because I need it from time to time. Okay? We love and appreciate y'all.